So I did not film me catching the the flounder. If I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really think I was gonna catch anything, <laughs> so I didn't take the camera for this whole catch and cook thing. But at least we got the cook part down. I'm gonna see about catching something else, maybe like um, jack or pompano or something, because we do we're on the beach. This is the river over here. Then on the other side of the house, we got the beach. So I'm gonna see if I can try and catch a pompano or just pretty much anything. See if I could film that for you guys, and hopefully we can have a part two catch and cook. I don't know. I almost wonder if I should use one of these. This is a flounder that I caught earlier today over by a bridge, and I was just using the DOA shrimp, but here's the fillet part. Okay, so I've never filleted a flounder or eaten one, so this will be a first for me. But I heard you're supposed to get right up here by that head meat and come down. Oh, there's a bone. I suck at flying fish. I don't know how to do it. Probably be better if I had a, a sharper knife. It's a really thin piece of meat. Probably should have Got a bigger one. I mean, it's not terrible. This is the smallest fillet ever. There's our tiny, tiny fillet. Totally missed the meat up here by the tail. You have to cut off that because that's its little fin things. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Why did I 
grab this. I can't cut with this. It's probably better than a knife. Honestly. Oh wow, look at that. Way better. There's ice in it. We're gonna go right behind the peck fin right here. And up and back into head meat. Because there's a little meat up here. It's not much, but we don't have much of fish, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. I watch YouTube videos, but they all suck. Okay, they're all fake. They don't teach you the real way. I'm gonna fillet it like this. The only way I know how. Because all the ways they taught me were absolute garbage. Okay. That's already looking better. Totally missed a ton of meat right here. See all that? I'm showing you guys what not to do. Don't do that. Don't leave meat like that. See that? We don't miss meat here. Okay. Okay, guys. So, uh, I filleted the flounder. Uh, moral of the story. If you don't want tiny fillets like this, uh, one, don't catch small fish, and two, uh, don't suck at filleting like I do. I've never filleted a flounder, so this is kind of uh, new for me. But uh, we didn't, I don't think they're that bad. We got a couple of these. Um, so I love Everglades Fish and Chicken. It's my favorite seasoning. So I'm going to put some of this on there. And then um, let's cut a piece of butter. Is this on? Okay, so we're going to have this on medium heat. I'm going to let that get all in situated. Here's what it's going to look like. We did already make a couple. It smells pretty good. I haven't eaten yet. Is this done? Well, it's it's nice and sizzling there. Kind of soft. Flounders are very soft fish. Also very white. The fish is really white and that's good because the, pe the reason people don't like fish is because of the bloodline and that's what makes fish taste fishy. Flounder has like almost no bloodline. It's like really small fish and chicken. And I love this stuff. Enough to feed you. That's enough All to right. feed like a baby who's just came yeah. out. So of the you world. can take it out, like. Oh, that's hot. There we go. You see that trick shot? <clears throat> there you go. All right, try it. Okay, I've never had flounder. Go. I've never had flounder before, so this is my first time. Let's get a hot piece that I made. Oh goodness, that's hot. Maybe I shouldn't get a hot piece. That's really good. That's good. Like even if you don't like fish, you probably like this because of how like it doesn't taste like fish. The texture is really nice. It's white. Honestly, I think it's because of the seasoning I use. It's so good. Everybody go buy it. Use code Jake for 10% off. Just kidding. Shut up, Simba! Okay, I'm gonna try this because I'm a perfectionist at cooking. You can just see what kind of fruit this comes from my DNA. Jake here. And let's see what we got. Big on fish. It's really mild. It's not overpowering. I, I got a little bit of crunch there. And then I like those ingredients from the Everglades. Fish and chicken. Fish and chicken Everglades. It got a nice color. I just wished it was bigger pieces, more for like some tacos. What do you think? Mm, that's really good. Yeah? You did good, yeah. He would you like mm, it? That's wonderful. <laughs> I'm just going to this. Pretty good job. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, that was really good. I've never had uh, 
liked that before. That was a new experience. That was cool. I want to see about eating a Jack Prevail. I know a lot of people don't like to eat them, but I've seen a bunch of videos where people are like, oh, it's not as bad as people think, so I want to try that. But right now, I'm currently going to the dock so I can uh, throw that away. Bye, fishy, fishy. What the heck? Okay, guys, so I did not film me catching a fish. So I'm going to try and see if I can catch another one because I didn't film it, and I really want to get that part for you guys. So I'm going to get out there and do it. Okay guys, here we have a blue fish that I caught yesterday. I did stick him in the freezer because I wasn't able to cook him yesterday, but here he is, all nice and frozen. He's thawing out. I caught this guy yesterday at the beach using a big silver spoon. We're gonna see about smoking him up on this rig right here. I have Pastor Mike's house, he's over there at chopping wood. Firebox is open, grill grates are getting hot. We're, I don't know, probably somewhere around 550 degrees. Olive oil, when doing any kind of fish. I do this when I'm grilling anything at all, yeah. but specifically with fish. The skin makes it crispy. Also keeps it, it's a little preventative for keeping it to, from sticking to the grill. Just a little olive oil and piece of paper towel. Just wipe them down. All down below is getting olive oil all over them. So there's your blue fish oiled down. Lay them in there on them grill grates like that. Try to keep the, the belly meat as naturally thinner than the back strap on the top loin of a fish. Um, so when you're doing indirect heating, you always want to put the thicker portion of the fish closer to the heat. Obviously the firebox is there. So you're going to do the back loin closest to so that cooks faster. Then when we flip it um, to do the coloring, you know, to get the other side the right way. We actually won't flip it over this way. We'll just flip the head around this way so the back still stays so the thicker end oh, cooks. Okay. But we'll show you that when we get there. This one felt good. You're pretty precise though, they're all... It flipped over pretty easy. There. Guys, so this is the finished product. We just took it out of the grill or smoker. And as you can see, I didn't uh, properly gill and gut my fish correctly. So we are left with a lot of bloodline, which is literally the worst tasting part of the fish Jake, ever. just take a mouthful of that. It, no. <laughs> no. Just, I'm not. Just... Uh-uh. No. Okay. <laughs> Zero percent, dude. But we were able to just, like, kind of scrape it off, and, um, this is going to be my first time ever eating blue fish. This is going to be a genuine taste test. No seasoning, nothing, just smoked. Let's get a little bit of a smaller piece just in case I don't like it. It's actually kind of white. It's pretty white. White. It's flaky. pretty white and flaky. Yeah, just minus the bloodline if you uh, gill it correctly. But that's pretty good. It's not as bad as people would think it is. Get you some. Get you some of that. If I had it before, this isn't like a big surprise to me. To be totally honest, but I was. I'm genuinely surprised because yeah. when I ate it, I was. Everybody trying. talks about it like it's really bad. I thought it was going to taste absolutely terrible. Mm -mm. That's not bad at all. Even this in here won't taste really, really bad. It's not straight up bloodline. You're not going to eat that. Right? But it's just, it's fishy. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just fishy. It's really actually pretty good smoke. Because this smoke. tastes like what you would expect fish dip to taste like. Yeah. That is our blue stop. fish catch and cook. Stop throwing your blue fish away. Yeah, stop throwing those away. Since it's super flaky, smoked... We're just gonna see about pulling all the, ooh. Wow, that comes right off. Yeah. Oh, we even get that last part? Oh. <laughs> that is so satisfying. Good. You could be catching bluefish all the time. <laughs> 